Andy 2013 almost behind us, and our gadget guy Mike Yanni has been bringing gadgets on set, showing us the latest and greatest throughout the year. But a few have stood out. The number one might be a surprise, and you're joining us to run through your top five. So I thought that it would be something maybe a little sleeker than what we're about to see first. But tell us what this is. You know what? Mike? It is sleek. It just doesn't look sleek. You know, when you hear what it is, you're like, what? Why would you pick that? But this actually is, is a pretty cool piece of technology. This is called Nest Protect, and this is one of my favorite uh, tech things that came out this year. It's a smoke alarm and carbon monoxide detector. Mm -hmm. uh, now, I mean, to look at it, okay, it's kind of cool. It's got that blowing, glowing LED uh, blue ring there, but there's some really neat features on this. Number one, it, um, it doesn't have a typical alarm. Okay. You know, the, the annoying beeps and yes. things like that? It, studies show that kids don't necessarily react to them; they'll sleep through them. So this uses voice. Okay. So I'm a voice to press will. The don't push the button. Don't push the it's button. Gonna, the alarm will go off. Okay. All right. <laughs> uh, so temptation averted. First of all, uh, the voice—that's that's always important. Uh, number two, you know, a lot of people dis disable their smoke detectors because the low battery signal, mm -hmm. the chirping gets annoying. This one, you can actually walk by it and wave, and that'll temporarily disconnect it. Uh, it knows that okay, the toaster maybe you just burnt a piece of toast or something like that. So right. that's also has going for it. Uh, number three, path light. It's a feature where at night, when you walk by, it senses you and it'll actually glow. So it, it lights up your uh, path maybe to the washroom. Hey, or that's a cool like that. feature. So really neat features. A little bit more expensive than your typical carbon monoxide uh, smoke detector. Mm -hmm. uh, it's about $129, mm -hmm. but uh, well worth it. Really cool piece of tech. This was a hot gift in the Belland household was over it? the season. Yeah, my brother-in-law and my dad were playing with the nest and waving their hands on it. And yeah, then, yeah, it is pretty cool. <laughs> it was a hit. Moving on, I'll let you uh, hold this up. This is okay. something we're familiar with here on set. Uh, this is the iPad mini with Retina, one of the best tablets of 2013, hands down. Uh, first of all, the size. I mean, it really is a perfect yeah. size. Uh, you can hold it in one hand if you wanted to. It, if you travel, great for that. It's got a great processor, a, a motion processor as well. Uh, and I mean, with a half a million apps available for iPad alone, mm -hmm. I mean, there's a reason why it's one of the top selling tablets of 2013. Oh, absolutely. Uh, still one of my favorites. Easy okay. to travel with. Okay. Yes. What's Moving on. Uh, this is interesting. Uh, we have some video of this. It's called the Pebble Smart Watch. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's an interesting piece of technology. It's, it's wearable tech. We heard a lot about wearable technology in 2013. And this is one of the ones that really started it all. So it is a, a typical watch, but what's not typical is the face of it. It's made of e-ink. Okay. Or e-paper, uh, basically like a Kindle or uh, a Kobo right. ebook reader. So you can see it outside in the daylight, uh, no glare. You can customize the face, make it look like whatever you want, but also you can uh, download apps to it. So you can uh, have RunKeeper on there for tracking your running. You can control music from across the room with your smartphone. Plus, you can read texts, emails, and incoming calls when you pair it with your smartphone. So mm. lots of cool things. But my favorite part about this is the price, $149. It comes in well below the competition. Some yes. of the other smartwatches that came out this year, this, this is the one that kind of started it all on Kickstarter. And for the price, uh, you, you can't beat it. Yeah, that is a good price. Do you mm -hmm. think that's a trend that will stay? We'll see more wearable tech? We'll see a lot more. Mm. Lots 2014. more. Next, next? Uh, 4K Ultra. HD TV. Mm. There was a breakthrough this year in television, something we haven't seen in years. So let's bring up the video here. Uh, and you know what? I will say this 4K Ultra HD, Ultra HD TV, it's four times the resolution of typical high definition okay. television. So it's jaw dropping when you see it for the first time. The issue with this is two issues price point. You can see it starts at about $31.99, so still really pricey. Mm -hmm. uh, and there's no content yet. The 4K content is still going to be coming out. So okay. uh, I think next year at CES, or sorry, next week at CES in Vegas, we'll be down there. Uh, we'll be seeing a lot more 4K and Ultra HD TV, and I think the prices are really going to take a hit this year, and they're going to drop and be more affordable for everyone. Yeah, that typically happens, right? They start yep. with a high price, and then as more people want them, uh, that drops. Okay, the Mac Pro. Last but not least, the Mac Pro. This is kind of revolutionizing the desktop computer. And you'll see when you see the video here, the style uh, and design is absolutely jaw dropping. It's beautiful. It's a cylinder, uh, uh, it's a cylinder basically, the <laughs> shape. And it's tiny, it's really small. Cylindrical? It's got cool. <laughs> That's the word I was looking for. There you, go. Um, you know what? It, it's got cool features like a motion sensor, so when you turn it around to get to the ports at the back, they automatically glow, mm -hmm. so you can see where you're plugging things in, even in the dark. This has a ton of horsepower. You know, it's called Mac Pro for a reason. It really is meant for professionals, where it's video editing, picture editing, photo right. editing, things like that. This went on sale about a week ago. Mm -hmm.
sold out within the first day. Really? If you try to get your hands on it and you want to pre-order now, you won't get it until about February. Uh, so it just shows you that... Um, in Apple, high demand. When it comes to uh, design and style, I mean, Apple, they've, they've got it hands down. Yeah. So and definitely in high demand. You get to start your 2014 at CES. Yes, next week heading down Are to Vegas, pumped? the giant consumer electronics show. It's going to be exciting. We'll see what uh, 2014 brings us. It's like Christmas for the